Hello everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. I uh, originally wasn't going to review this cigar, but I figured what the heck. This is the Gurkha Ninja. This was, this is a uh, Churchill sized cigar. I've been smoking it for about 40 minutes already. Got quite a bit of cigar left. I use my punch to punch the cap. Double cap, Maduro wrapper, tight but visible seams, some minor veins. Um, up to this point, no issues with the burn. It's been uh, fairly even. I haven't had to touch it up at all. I haven't had to relight it or anything. Started off with uh, an initial uh, not a real strong blast, but it definitely had a lot of pepper when I initially lit the cigar. It's trying to go out on me now. Let's talk about the, uh, the nose on the wrapper and the foot before I ever lit it. The wrapper had kind of a musty, almost foot smell, like a dirty foot. Uh, and then uh, there was also a, uh, an underlying note of what smelled like, to me, like a, like a toothpaste, like a minty toothpaste. Okay, whatever, not what you would typically find in a cigar. And uh, the, uh, the foot of the wrapper had a very strong dirty foot odor to it like a like a locker room or something like a pair of sneakers or something was just not really nasty but just not real pleasant the aroma from the smoke in the air isn't all that pleasant um it would probably put off a lot of people if uh, you had some friends around you that didn't smoke cigars or if they did smoke cigars, they may say, oh, that thing stinks. Okay, whatever. A lot of cigars smell bad to other people. There it went. Up until now, I haven't had any issues with the burn. It just now went out. Just And it's not from letting it sit in the ashtray for you know, any length of time. Just just went out. So uh, I'll get it relit and... Uh, I'll come back. Okay, we got it relit. There's been uh, plenty of smoke output other than when it just went out a moment ago. Hotch! Dog's barking at a deer or something in the yard. I haven't been put off by any of the flavors, just, uh, almost one-dimensional. It's just not putting out a lot of forward flavors. It's a solid medium-plus body. Um, medium strength. Uh, slightly creamy smoke. It's just there's not a whole lot of flavors going on. If, if you really look for it, you can find a little bit of earth, a little bit of mineral, slight hint of leather. Could be that my bright orange do cap, do rag that I bought today, might be uh, skewing my sense of flavor. not bad it's just there's not a whole lot of real pleasant uh, cigar type flavors going on but anyway uh, I'll continue on I'll get uh, oh well into the second third there and uh, I'll be back All right, as you can see uh, a little bit windy but there's just a ton of smoke coming off this thing ah, I want the ash it's another thing I need to mention. The ash holds on for, at best, an inch, and then it falls off. So you really need to take care with your ash. You'll be wearing it.
into the second third here. Um, still uh, not a whole lot going on flavor-wise. Some earthiness, a little bit of mineral. The leather is starting to pick up a little bit, uh, which I like. Um, I'm a big fan of the leather flavors. Maybe a slight hint of flint on the finish and a mild pepper note on the finish. That pepper note is kind of long on the finish. It's still going on right now. It's just seems to go on until the, the next draw. So uh, I'll continue on. I'll get into the final third and I'll be back. Here we are uh, in the final third. Quite a lot of cigar left here, but you know, being a Churchill size, you would expect that. I've been smoking this for an hour and almost ten minutes. Had a whole lot going on still. Uh, has kind of a musty character to it. Once again, the ash only holds on for at best an inch, so momentarily I'll be ashing this. No uh, further issues with the burn uh, to this point. Just went out the one time, just, just out of the blue, just went out. But the burn's been pretty consistent other than that. Fairly even burn line. I haven't had any issues with it going all wonky or anything. A little bit of waviness, but not too bad, self-correcting. side note I'd like to mention that the last cigar review I did was of the uh, My Father Cigars Flor de las Antilles and uh, in the uh, opening uh, notations I spelled Antilles wrong I've been trying to correct it but YouTube hasn't allowed me it just keeps telling me the video is not available at this time so I, I don't know what's going on with YouTube but uh, I actually wrote Antilles instead of Antillas. So, like I said, if, it, if the correction ever goes through, I'll hit the post button. Or if I get tired of waiting, I'll go ahead and hit the, uh, the publish button. Let it go through. But we'll see. See what happens. This isn't a bad cigar, this Gurkha Ninja Churchill. Pretty one-dimensional, not a whole lot of character. Still a solid medium body, medium strength. Lots of smoke output. Um, I picked this up at one of those discount tobacco shops. It was, oh I forget, it was under $5. I want to say it was like $4.65 or something like that but uh, it was under five dollars so for a Churchill sized Gurkha that's you know pretty good um, and if you uh, you know if you don't necessarily like a lot of Ford flavors a lot of richness a lot of character uh, you know some people just like a, a real even keeled smoke that uh, doesn't have a lot of changes and uh, this would be a good cigar, you know, for someone that likes that type of thing. While it put out some kind of dirty foot odors on the on the nose, the smoking of it isn't bad. So I'll continue this on, uh, get down into the nub, and see if there are any uh, pleasant or unpleasant surprises. Here we are into the nub. Smoke has remained pretty cool, just starting to warm up a little bit. However, the uh, cigar is not getting soft, really. I mean, yeah, a little bit, but uh, considering I'm way down into the nub, burn hasn't been an issue other than the one time it went out. 
I'll go ahead and end this review here since there hasn't really been any changes. Saying that the Gurkha Ninja in Churchill size uh, hasn't really put out a whole lot of uh, flavor characters or, or you know no real changes or, or anything like that. Pretty one-dimensional for the most part. Um, been some mineral notes through the majority of the body. A little bit of a pepper kick on the uh, initial lighting. Did pick up a slight hint of leather uh, about halfway through. A little bit of flint. Medium body, medium strength. Plenty of smoke output. This thing is just just lots and lots of smoke. So for uh, I, I would consider this a uh, value price cigar at you know less than five dollars for a Churchill sized Gurkha. It's pretty inexpensive. So uh, you know if, if you're looking for a lot of uh, forward flavors, a lot of richness, a lot of character. A lot of flavor changes but you're not going to get that with this cigar but uh, if, if you're the kind of person that likes a, a, an even keeled cigar that pretty much just has the same flavor profile throughout beginning to end well, this would be a good cigar for you especially at the price I'm starting to get a little bit of a nicotine kick late in the final third I noticed the overall relaxation that nicotine will give you, kind of a kind of a deep, uh, real deep nicotine feel, uh, way down into the way down into your chest, towards your stomach, and then the just the overall relaxation. So uh, I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. This has been the Gurkha. Ninja in Churchill size. Catch you next time.